I'm Elisa and I am the Scrappy Wife behind ScrappyWife.com and I am super excited to share a flip through video. I have finished my very first art journal. It is packed full. I worked on it for just over a year actually and um, this is a Jane Davenport art journal. It's smaller in size, um, nine inches by what six by nine something like that um, and I really loved it. Art journaling is something, was one of my goals to start in 2019 and I have just absolutely had a ball. So I thought I would share a quick flip through video and um, it might get a little chatty, it might get a little long, but I hope you enjoy it. I do have processes for most of these pages so you can check out my art journal playlist on my channel. Otherwise, let's go. Okay, so I'm not sure if anyone else does the inside covers. I did not. I guess it's something I could go back and do. Maybe add just some fun quotes or something. So let me know if you do the inside cover of your art journal. The other thing is I was really wanting to do something else to the outside. This is done with just some shimmer sprays, I believe. And I'd love to add something else, maybe a big, bold quote. So if you have an idea for a quote that I could put right here on the front of my art journal, let me know and I can add that to complete it. All right, so here we go. This is in the very beginning, practicing with layering, done with a bunch of different sprays and paints. And then these are some actually dies that I put through my deep sea die cutting machine. Those are uh, Tim Holtz kind of edge dies done with some Felicity Jane paper, Felicity Jane girl, layering in. This is in the beginning where I was really focused on the background more so and then just added things on the top. Hope is not a strategy. Go out and get it done. Loved this. I even see some washi tape that I layered there on the background. This was a fun one. This was when I was experimenting with adding pictures in, kind of doing it scrapbook-ish style. So this was a picture of my little girl who was staying home from school on this particular day. And um, I really was focusing on the fact that I took some time to spend with her. This is actually cut out from a magazine and then I layered paint on top of it to add some dimension, which was super cool. I wasn't super pleased with the background on this one. Again, it's just layers of acrylic paint and so I ended up covering up a lot of it. Next up, this was a fun one. So these are um, the Jane Davenport inks, like the incredible inks. And I just dropped them on the page and then used a straw to kind of blow them around. Um, added some stamping. This is some embossed stamping right here. These are some stamps and some stamps in, this is a stencil in the background. And what I really like actually about this page is the doodled border. I really started to get into the doodled border. And this is one of my kind of lighter spreads where I ha actually had some white space still showing. This one was so fun to do. So I was cleaning out my alphabet stash, my alpha sticker stash. And I covered this entire page in alpha stickers from sheets of random colors where I only had a few left over. I have words matter in the middle and then I painted over the entire thing with like metallic acrylic paint. If you can hear that, it has kind of like a plasticky feel. I love this and I totally want to recreate it again. It was so fun, such a great way to use up kind of some of those odds and ends letters and the texture of it is just a lot of fun. One thing I did learn though was that this particular metallic acrylic paint ended up kind of drying still sticky which is a problem sometimes when it has a sheen to it so I really had to dust this a lot with some baby powder and then it still sometimes sticks and you can see it kind of pulls up paint but that's okay. This is one that I had this vision for this elephant right here and I layered on some different tissue paper and then stenciling in the back and then when I posted it I had a bunch of people tell me that they saw a girl here which I now see kind of her hair flowing so this would be a fun one to come back and add to. You can see I was really loving these Tim Holtz quote stickers. I think they're awesome. And I also played with texture paint in this one. If you can see these triangles, this is all texture paint that has been dyed a different color. 
Here's another simple one. This is actually using up scraps as well. This is using um, some branding strips from Felicity Jane. So I put them all out on a piece of paper and then cut out some wonky hearts at, from that paper with all the strips layered on top of it. I have some doilies in the back. This is a printable from a pile of ashes that I added on. And I had fun with art journaling without really feeling like I had to draw things, if that makes sense. I was experimenting with textures and colors and layering. I've had so many people recently talk to me about layering and how it's really difficult. And this is one of the ways that I got used to it or kind of just experimented more was in my art journaling. So I would cut out pieces that I liked and just layer them. And um, you can see this is not anything that's necessarily super artistic or difficult to do. It's just putting things together, but getting used to the spatial awareness was something that I really learned in art journaling. And I love this quote. I don't know what it's like to not have deep emotions. Even when I feel nothing, I feel it completely, which I thought really fit this girl right here. This, I'll be completely honest, was a page I did not like when I created it because I did not like how that face turned out, but it kind of grew on me. So it looks like what I did was layer a bunch of different things. So this is washi tape and paper. This is a rub on from Jane Davenport, some different heart vellum pieces from Jane Davenport that are layered on there. I believe those are vellum stickers. And I wanted to create this face. And part of this, this is a piece of washi tape right here. I added some gold lashes in the lips and I just wasn't completely pleased with how it turned out. But I did learn a lot with color and with layering, and this one was a fun one to work on. And they don't all turn out exactly like you want them to, but you still learn from the process. I love, love, loved this one. So if you watch my channel, you know that this in the back is some tissue paper from By the Well for God. So this is just the basic tissue paper or napkin technique. And all I did was decoupage this or use my matte gel medium and put it completely covering the page, added this marker on the background to just add some more color. It's just a black and white tissue paper. And then this was actually cut out from a magazine and I just loved the bright color. So I layered that on top added this. Um, this is one of those times when as a mom, you, you all know when you're a mom and it's stressful and you feel like you're failing, sometimes you just need someone to tell you, you are doing great. So love that one. Love the bright colors. This was a rainbow. This is when I was all about the color. So I have this quote, she sees in black and white, thinks in grays, but loves in color. And then all of these are just quotes about color that I wrote out. And this is just acrylic paint. This is acrylic paint. And then these are some flowers that I cut out of some scrapbook paper and a simple one, but it was fun to collect all of the different quotes about color. And then here you can see, so in an art journal, this one is well loved. You can see some leakage or some seeping from other pages. But for me, that's part of the characteristic of an art journal. And I love it. This is a bright, bright page. So here I have some flowers that I believe, I believe I sketched these out. I don't kind of, I don't really recognize if these are from a stencil. I think I sketched those out. Um, in the background is just some layered paper. Um, and some just yeah just some different paper then i used a stencil and some teal paint to go over the top of that to tone down all of the right paper added the bright colors i love the detail here so i i really want to focus on adding some more details like the little um dotted outlines around my circles here and i love this is from the snarky um, line from Tim Holtz, don't judge me, hang on, let me overthink this, perfect for me. In my defense, I was left unsupervised. Hey, train wreck, this isn't your station, also perfect for me. Of course, I talk to myself, sometimes I need an expert opinion, and I'd like to announce I have no idea what I'm doing. And I think that ended up being the title for this particular page, but this one was fun, and then um, the numbers were added with a stencil from uh, Illustrated Faith love the bright colors in this page. 
So this was a fun one. Here you can see this is leakage or seepage from another page, but it actually kind of worked out well because it ends up looking kind of like a crown on that girl. And the goal for this page, I gave myself the challenge of kind of working off a horizontal line, if you can see that through. So I added these three girls, Jane Davenport, super inspiring for me. I love her supplies. This is some texture paste that has been colored with the mermaid markers. And these are all done with the mermaid ma markers. So I challenged myself to use mermaid markers a little bit more this year. And I did get a little bit more used to them and I just want to continue to grow. They are a fun supply to work with, especially in art journaling. These are stamps, and I believe this is from one of the collage napkins from Jane Davenport, along with these seashells that I was able to layer in. And the um, title of Rise, because you can see they're all, the hair is lifting up and she's rising up. It's kind of like rising out of the water. Love it. The inspiration for this page was this napkin. So if you can see these butterflies in the back, this was kind of a vintage napkin that one of my friends gave me, saved for me, and I wanted to use this in, on an art journal page. So I started with a napkin in the background. You can see some stenciling done with metallic acrylic paint so you can see how it shines. I added some Jane Davenport girls. I feel like these are actually rub-ons and not stamps. So I added five girls working in groups of five. Be Your Own Beautiful. This is a little alpha stamp set I have. And then this one actually has some stick-on rhinestones, which turned out super cute. I love the rose gold feel and the pinks in this page and just the softness of this page. And I also really like how the black splatters turned out just to add a little bit of messiness into the page. All right, this is another one where it didn't quite turn out like I thought it was going to. I was experimenting in the background. Again, that's the Jane Davenport Mermaid markers. And I wanted it to look, I had this girl cut out from a magazine and I wanted to look like all of these ideas were like flowing out of her head, like she's blooming. And that it does, but it kind of looks like she's just got crazy hair a little bit, a little bit Marge Simpson esque maybe so and I was using up a few of these are all um, ephemera pieces most of them are Maggie Holmes ephemera pieces a few others mixed in your vibe attracts your tribe and you're either a growing or dying dream big so that's what that girl is doing it just ended up being a little bit busy I wish I had done something else in the background to tone down the colors in the background but I do like the border that I added and I like the use of getting to use a bunch of ephemera pieces that I love. So this one feels a little bit incomplete. I feel like I should come back and add. This was an experiment with some Distress Oxide sprays when I first got them and then adding some metallic over the top. You can see I kind of sprayed and it looks like I just let it drip that way. So kind of an experiment page. I love the colors on this page. So this one is done with um, the Dilution Shimmer Sprays. So it's kind of hard to see on camera, but there is a shimmer to those bright colors. This is from Jane, Tav Jane Davenport's Scrapbook Paper, and I just bought another pad of it because I love it. So I cut out that girl, and I ended up stenciling over the top of her and adding some paint so that she would feel more incorporated in into the page. This is that same floral um, tissue paper that you saw, let me see, in this one. If you can see, that's actually the same paper, but this time I painted over the top of it to really highlight the flowers. I love these arrow stencils right there and how I was able to add details and change them up, go your own way. I really just like the coloring in this one. It's so bold and so graphic, and this one was super fun. You can see this one was a little bit of a departure for me because there is no decoupaging or there's nothing added. This is just paint on this paper. So I actually painted myself. This is the ocean, sand, the sun will rise and we will try again. So a real simple page. And I covered over the top of it with some glitter pen so that it would have, you know, I love shimmer. So a really simple page and I had fun kind of mixing and matching some different acrylic paints. And this one was a more relaxing one to do because it didn't involve a lot of different supplies. Added some gold here to add um, reflections of sand. That one's cute. So I had seen someone 
the inspiration for this, someone did a cake out of washi tape, I think maybe. And I wanted to make that same feel of a striped cake. So that is what I did with these paint stripes right here and then doodled on them and made the little cake stand. And then I embellished with these black and white flowers. And then this background is all done using an airbrush tool that um, I picked up. I believe it's a Tim Holtz tool and you use your alcohol markers or your distress markers with the tool and you can make this kind of airbrushed look which is fun. And then you can see I was kind of experimenting with some different hand lettering up here, mixing and matching alphas. Life's short, go ahead, eat the cake. And then I said I could give up chocolate, but I'm not a quitter. And I, again, loved the borders. So the borders are something that I learned throughout that I really started enjoying and liking. So these two pages, let me show you these together. There's this one, and then there's this one. And this was a super fun mix of, I had this marbled paper from when I visited Italy with my husband last spring to enjoy our anniversary together. And it's just gorgeous marbled paper and I wanted to include it somehow. And so I decided to do like this crazy outgoing paper in the background. And then on top of it, I layered pieces from a furniture catalog that I had received. I don't know what catalog this is from, but you can see I kind of cut it out here. I added some metallic carpet and I thought it was just an interesting play of this very simple furniture, very clean lines over all of the craziness in the background. Same thing over here. This one has a bunch of stamping in the background as well. So it's like strips of paper stamping behind there with all kinds of metallic watercolors, it looks like. You see some flowers sticking out here and there. So it's really about, you know, making your home. It says home is where we let our crazy out, meaning just making your home for you and mixing and matching elements. And these two pages I did kind of simultaneously working on them and they were um, a challenge to work with this color palette. And that's why everything else on this page is really simple. And then you can see the blues are picked up in this paper from that furniture. Just a fun juxtaposition, which I think is um, a cool thing to experiment with art journaling. Okay, so these next pages are a series meant to go together and I did them all at the same time working simultaneously. I do have a video for these. And the idea was using up some, I focus on Jane Davenport supplies, except for this, this is Tim Holtz stamping. So dig in deep and they build on each other. So you have this and the blues and the greens, they're stenciling on every page, they're stamping on every page, there are distress oxide sprays on every page, and then there's some decoupage elements. And then this one says, you have choices, you are allowed to grow and change, your life is not permanent, you are not stuck here. And I love the brick element. Brick is something I really liked playing with. You can see my decoupage napkins, some stamping in the background, and then it grows even more. It says, beauty begins the moment you uh, decide to be yourself, Coco Chanel. Imagine if we obsessed about the things we loved about ourselves, which is a great quote. And here I went for the purples and pinks. And again, metallic splatters, super fun. And then here it's all opened up. This is the exact middle. Never be afraid to try something new. Life gets boring when you stay within the limits of what you already know. Do it, take the big leap. And I just love motivational quotes like that. I love the blues in this, my little mermaids peeking out, dance to the song of the sea. And you can see I had less room to work with as we got in deeper and deeper to add on the sides. And then it kind of builds the other direction. Doesn't exactly work out covering that way, but that's okay. This one did. I really like the scheme on this page with purples and golds and pinks. And then back to just dig deep. And if you can tell, that girl is the same. So here's one side of her face and here's the other. So I was able to use the same elements on each part that kind of match up and reflect 
the counterpart of them and then one that's blue in the middle so this one super fun to work on this it did take a long time to do that series but um it accomplished the goal that i wanted to which was to take up a lot of room in my art journal because i was really wanting to finish it and to just get to try some techniques over and over and build pages in a similar manner this one has a lot of stenciling layers on it which i love adds a lot of depth all right, this one is called Release. And the whole idea is were these um, butterflies. These are die cuts that I got. I believe they're Tim Holtz. I'll link them below if I can find them. I do have a process video for this page. This one, you can see some of the seepage that came through the um, binding here. Live, create, tell the story, have an open heart. Adventure awaits you and take risk. Be open to whatever comes next. Never give up. Go where your heart takes you. Let it go. Release. And so the idea is that the butterflies are black and then they're coming out into the white and releasing up. Releasing the bad and turning into the good. Again, that same tool to create the background that kind of gives the airbrush technique look. And sketchy border. Okay, this one makes me sad because I loved this page and you can see it's stuck together and it's because of this metallic um, paint that I did not go back and add powder to and so it's stuck. Um, this is a stencil. First I started with a napkin and then I did a stencil and then highlighted the stenciling with the this black marker and added, I'm so glad I live in a world where there are Octobers from Anne of Green Gables, which I love. And it just stuck. So this one, this page kind of had some damage, which is sad, but that's okay. It happens at times. That's what happens in art journals because they are loved and they're flipped through and handled. And it's not the same as creating an art piece and putting it in a frame. And I love that about them. Like I want to be able to flip through. And if that means sometimes it gets damaged, that's what happens. Okay. This is when I wanted to give a vertical spread a try. So I cut out this girl from a calendar. This was a technique I was building around these embossed stamps, which are so pretty and so delicate. And I was using some glitter uh, markers to kind of build the psychedelic feeling. And I liked the phrase, forward. It was something that was just on my heart at the time and I really wanted to build off of that. The other part that I really enjoyed about this page are these gold shards and these are from Art Anthology and they are so fun and add just a really interesting dimension as opposed to glitter. They just reflect differently and I like the quote, the most difficult thing is the decision to act. The rest is just tenacity. So I kept with the vertical theme and for this one, I was experimenting with a new uh, flower stencil, a masking stencil that I had gotten from Impressive Ideas and sketched out. This is a stencil where you um, from Jane Davenport where you can stencil out the face and then add this gorgeous auburn hair. And I loved the colors. This is a lot of different acrylic paint. Some of it is metallic in the background and just a lot of fun to work with. Again, you can see some seepage from other pages, no big deal, but I was really enjoying the vertical layout, which makes me think for my next art journal, I might get a larger one, but I'm, I haven't decided yet. It's hard to commit to an art journal. It's hard to make that commitment. Here I did this for Thanksgiving and what I did was sketch out this tree, painted it, um, added some, I believe that's, I don't know if that's watercolor. Yeah, it looks like maybe watercolor in the background. I'm not totally sure. And then I went back through my gratitude journal that I keep on a daily basis and I just added and I wrote all my gratitudes or just bits and pieces from the past few months and added it over the top, which was a really fun way to reflect around Thanksgiving time on all the things that I was grateful for. Here again, I was playing with a masking stencil. So I have Distress Oxide sprays in the background and then this big masking stencil that is all of these like tingly loop-de-loops and I put white paint over it and it wasn't a completely opaque white paint so it kind of took up some of the Distress Oxide spray. I added these stamped flowers and I ended up not really liking it because they were just so dark. So this is one of those pages, Be Someone Else's Rainbow. It just 
it didn't turn out quite like I wanted it to. It was a little bit of a muted rainbow. I know it probably doesn't look like that, but in person it ended up being a little muted. I wanted the white to be a little bolder and the plan was for these flowers to be black and white and it just ended up being a lot of black. So another page I wasn't quite totally pleased with. This is my word for 2020, which is dare. And again, I did the same kind of idea. So you can see this is distress oxide sprays in a rainbow, distress oxide sprays in a rainbow. This time I covered it up with white, same stencil. This time I covered it up with black. I ended up liking the black a lot more. I added some glitter spray over the top and dare nice and bold with some white splatters. This page was a crazy experiment with texture that did not quite work. So this is like a crumpled up napkin down here. I just was experimenting with texture. This page looks unfinished to me. Um, yeah, like I said, an experiment. Definitely do not have a video for that one, but that's okay. Loved this page. This is, I believe, mermaid markers. I think it might just be watercolors and windows. I was just staring out the window of my craft room when I was making this. I love the birds, love the stenciling. This one was a lot of fun to do. I cut out these words from a magazine, from a travel magazine, one of those you pick up on an airplane and just had a great time playing with the windows and the placement. This is one of my favorite pages, I think, in this book. I love, love, loved it. This is my coffee page that I'd never got back to adding. I kind of had this floating head here. I need to add some more to her. I was trying to challenge myself to do a page with browns and it did not go well. So I don't need an inspirational quote. I need coffee, which is how I feel a lot of the times, but this one, eh, I don't know about this. This is my favorite page. I can, I will, watch me. I love this girl. I loved how this page came together. It has so many layers. It took a long time to put it together. This is mermaid markers and acrylic paint and stenciling and clear embossing ink. And it was just a labor of love. And I really did love it. It has got to be my very favorite um, page for sure for this um, art journal. This is a pretty one. This is one of my Jane Davenport stamps. And then I added these kind of odd legs onto the horse, but that's okay. And then this girl, I wanted her dress. I kind of created this dress with some Jane Davenport dyes that I picked up from Tuesday morning. There's a butterfly in the background. This one is just so whimsical. You're going to see several Jane Davenport ones in a row because I got her new whimsical and wild stamp line and I loved it and wanted to play with it. And this one was super fun to do. Love this girl in her flowing skirt that turns into a hill of flowers. You see a giraffe right here. It says giraffe wisdom. Stay above the drama, stretch yourself, stick your neck out, enjoy the view and stand tall. And again, this one's layering some different stamps that I put on different paper and cut out. Stenciling in the background, this yellow paper that I created um, with a mixed media technique. Super fun. Here is one that I did. This is how I finished my journal. This one was done on St. Patrick's Day. Um, the day you decide to start is your lucky day. So this is a big kind of four, four leaf clover that I actually used in a live on the morning of St. Patrick's Day. Some floral elements, it's green, distress oxide spray in the background, some texture paste with stenciling, and then these fun florals. And here is the gorgeous butterfly, nice and simple for this page. And then here is another one. I do have an entry for this one or a video for this one. Lots of stenciling, coloring, layering stamps, which was the main point of this entry, the good vibe tribe. And then that is the end. So that is the very first art journal that I have ever completed. Thanks for sticking around and looking at it with me. It's so fun to go back and think about where I was when I made these entries and just all the things I have learned in this past year of creating this art journal. So as always, um, I will link some of the videos, but really just check out that playlist of the art journal entries and you can see any of these entries that you are interested in um, on there. 
I have a link to my email newsletter that I send out every couple of weeks and it has just a few thoughts from me, some scrappy ideas, some organization hacks, things like that. So if you're interested in checking that out, I have the link to that below. Otherwise, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider hitting that subscribe button as well as the bell notification button. I hope you have a fabulous day and as always, keep it creative.